XPW fans, welcome to XPW Home Video as we bring to you Baptized in Blood. I'm Chris Kloss alongside Larry Rivera. All our wrestling fans. Tonight, we're going to see the most brutal night of professional wrestling ever, XPW, known as the premier in extreme, solidified its claim by holding our first ever King of the Death Match tournament. And you know, man, I know I say this before, but this was brutality at its most brutal. Violence at its most violent, man. Eight men entered the tournament. White Trash Johnny Webb, The Messiah, Supreme, Kid Chaos, Carito Montana, John Cronus, Axel Rotten, and Homeless Jimmy. And you know what, man? The winner of this tournament had to go through three, three death matches full of barbed wire, broken glass, Sun tacks, bulbs, light bulbs, and all kinds of other weapons, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the death match was not the only occurrence that night. XPW Gold was on the line. The real deal, Damian Steele, along with the tall, cool one, Jake Lawless, and Nicole Bass, put his title on the line against Chris Candido with Tammy Lynn Sitch. And you know what, man? We also saw why the West Siders continue to be the best, the toughest tag team on the West Coast, as we see Chronic take on former West Sider JN. Well, right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go up to the ring and bring you the XPW King of the Deathmatch Tournament. Hello and welcome wrestling fans. My name is Larry Rivera and welcome to another mega event here at the Hollywood Palace in downtown Hollywood, California. At the moment, we are awaiting the arrival of Chris Candido and his companion, the world-renowned Tammy Sish. Of course, Chris Candido needs no introduction to the professional wrestling fan. He is what is known as a world-class competitor. He's been all over the place, from independent organizations such as Smoky Mountain Wrestling, all the way to the top of the mountain, Chico, the World Wrestling Federation. He's been everywhere, a champion all over the place, and for most of the time, he has been accompanied by this beautiful woman we see right here, Miss Tammy Siege. A lot of the people out there in the internet and all over the place are saying that this is this woman, it's all over for her. But if you ask me, she is even more beautiful now than when she started, Chico. Look at that. This is a work of art. Not to be compared with anybody. And you can see Chris Cross in the ring there. He's doing the play-by-play -play and the in-ring announcing because his guido is disabled. But now we are going to listen to what Chris Candido has to say to this capacity crowd here at the Hollywood Palace. I know lately, every time you turn on a wrestling show on Monday night, you tune in for two hours and you get about ten minutes of people wrestling. And the rest of the time is some jackass in here talking about stuff that everyone doesn't care about. No, not like me. But I'm going to ask you for one second, if you could please just indulge me for one moment. There's a lot of guys that come out here every week and talk about how they got screwed. Well, it's real apropos, I guess, here in XPW, but there's nobody that's been screwed more in this business than me. For the last 12 years, I've worn a baby bonnet. I did jumping jacks in a powder blue freaking outfit. A guy that I thought was my damn best friend, who I helped run his damn company, stabbed me right in the damn back. So I come here to XPW, and there's a, there's a lot of places I can go, a lot of things maybe I can do. Bend over, honey? Oh, thank you. So, uh, regardless of the fact 
whether I go or stay, whatever. The fact of the matter is, is I've been here in XPW coming to help this place out with my presence. I've been screwed again. I beat Damien Steele last month. And then the last time I was out here, I beat him again. Yet he's still walking around with the XPW Heavyweight Championship, and I'm not. So enough talking. Damien Steele, get your damn ass out of here now! Wrestling fans, we now see the arrival of Damien Steele, self-proclaimed real deal here in XPW. He is the current XPW heavyweight champion. As you can see, he's accompanied by the largest in the world right now. Also, with him is Jake Lawless, the outlaw biker, the long, tall, cool one. You can see they are entering the ring here at the Hollywood Palace to answer the challenges of Chris Candido. Fans, this should amount to an interesting confrontation. Hollywood, California! You suck! Chris, Chris, Chris! You can come out here and whine all you want, but the gold belongs to the hierarchy! So you just cry me a river, pal. You see, Skip, you can come out here and do all the jumping jacks you want. But the gold belongs to me. Now, you couldn't get the job done last night. You're saying you want a shot tonight. Well, you know, today I thought I'd just come see all these mental midgets mutilate themselves in this ridiculous deathmatch tournament. I don't think I'm gonna put the boots on tonight, so sorry, pal. You're just out of luck. And if you can't dig it, you can stick it, cause I'm Damien Steele, and that's the real deal. That's another one. I got to go. I got to come back. Damien, Damien, Damien. I don't like you, but since you're from XPW, well, I guess I just got to deal with it. But Chris Candido, I fucking hate you.
Well, there you have it, amigos. A false count anywhere match has been declared for the Hollywood Palace here between Chris Candido and the real deal Damien Steele for the XPW Heavyweight Championship. That is going to take place in the middle of the ring, but it can also take place in the parking lot upstairs in the balcony. They can go in the bathroom. If Chris Candido has still in the toilet, the referee has to come the pin right there in the toilet seat, man. This could be anywhere. Paul, count anywhere in the building. Also, later tonight, we have the king of the death match tournament. It is going to be a big night of professional wrestling, only the way that XPW can do it. So I guarantee you, wrestling fans, it's going to be a night of pure excitement. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Hollywood Palace is awaiting the arrival of the one and only Supreme, the one you are seeing right here, ladies and gentlemen, waiting for him, the one and only Supreme. He is one of the top contenders for the title of the King of the Death Match. He is, the style alone of his is sadistic, masochistic. Look at his head. We just get, look at the chat or the tattoos on the head. He also has the, the earring in his mouth. He put an earring in his mouth. Not only in his ear, but in his head too, by the eyebrows. It's crazy. But that's, that's to be expected from Supreme. He's a nut, a maniac. Look how the people love him. They go crazy over Supreme. They love it here in XPW because we give them what they want. Look at that, we got a good shot of the bed of the barbed wire. I don't know about some of this violent crap, man but it's taking place tonight here in the Hollywood Palace. This match is going to bring you loads and loads of action. Not only the scientific wrestling, well, we probably won't see any of that, but you will see plenty of blood. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the stipulation here, you see the bed of nails, the bed of barbed wire outside the ring. It is going to be full of violence, brutality, and mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another arrival of one of the young hopefuls in this King of the Death Match tournament. I am speaking of Kid Chaos as he prepares for this first round match against Supreme. This is not the first time that these two meet, not even in this organization. They have a long history in this town. He's been chasing them all over the place. Keep Chaos chasing Supreme, Supreme chasing Chaos. Who knows when it will end? Maybe it will end today because this is a match that promises to be full of violence and brutality. Look at this guy. He is Keep Chaos, the one and only. This match, once again, bed of nails and barbed wire. We saw the barbed wire outside. Let's go to Chris Kloss in the ring for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my left, he is from Hollywood, California. He is the walking house of horrors himself, Supreme. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, his name is Kid Chaos. Thank you, Chris Cross, for the introductions here at the Hollywood Palace as we prepare for the confrontation in round one of King of the Death Match tournaments. The participants in round one are Supreme and Kid Chaos, two of the better known names in the Los Angeles area for professional rest. You see Kid Chaos here gaining control. 
control and keep chaos realizing hey hey chris claus where you been man how you doing larry rivera oh just got catching my breath here I, you know i got to do the ring announcing for the show because that buffoon guido got laid up by the west side his last month but right now the big story is in the ring kid chaos supreme the first round here at the king of the deathbed tournament at the hollywood palace what a night this should be folks you know chris Cost, i made it very clear when i came to this organization to this xpw that i do not approve of this violent crap i come from a time when wrestling was wrestling look at chaos now up and over the top rope on the supreme and larry it doesn't matter what you like because right now we got the king of the deathmatch tournament we got a bit of barbed wire here on the arena floor there i mean kid chaos now going at it with this monster supreme we've seen these guys in the past but never never in a battle like this and look at this chaos Chaos edging, Sup oh, edging Supreme's head for the bubber. But Supreme retaliating now, fist right to the head. This guy Supreme looks like Frankenstein, man. He's got so many stitches and cuts in his head. He's ready for the laboratory, man. Well, if you ask me, I think this guy is more hardcore than Frankenstein ever was. And there he is, the 21 year old. Wait a minute, look at this. Supreme's got this bed of barbed wire. He's, put, he's setting it up now, apparently, on the ring post, it looks like. You know, I remember seeing these two guys, Kid Chaos and Supreme, a couple of years ago in the independent wrestling scene here in Los Angeles. And I had high hopes for these guys being pro wrestling's new future. Wait a minute now, Supreme going for a clothesline and Chaos goes down on the floor. And that barbed wire still set up against the ring post here in the ringside area at the hollywood palace and now look at this supreme john with the referee in the ring little tattoos in the head wait a minute now what no it is a oh reversal ah! supreme into that bed of barbed wire you can blood on the board on the barbed wire Supreme could very well be cut open right now, Larry. We can get a camera over there. Kid Chaos now, just barely getting to his feet. And Supreme is down and out. Chaos now. What a reversal that was. He lucked out on that one. That was incredible. Right now, Chaos. This, the 21-year-old, this guy's a high-flying sensation. But right now, he's hardcore, and he's battling it out with a guy who truly is hardcore, Supreme. Looks like he's setting up for one more time into the bar wire, man. This is, like I say, man, this is brutality at his most brutal, Chico. Well, Supreme set up his own demise early on. And wait a minute now. Ah, oh, Supreme in once again. One more time into the bar wire. Look at that. Look at the eye, man. Look at that. He's breaking his face with that barbed wire. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, it just fell right on top of Supreme. I don't think he planned for that to happen. Right now, Chaos, oh, look at that. It's tangled in the legs of Supreme. And these fans here at the Hollywood Palace love it. We got celebrities in the place, man. We got porno stars. We got everybody here in the palace here in Hollywood because they know that XPW supplies the extreme entertainment. And it looks like now Kid Chaos with Supreme going for the reverse DDT. Rough stars. Well, we had Jonathan Davis of Porn here not too long ago. And wait a minute, look at this. Chaos perched up. The high flyer flies. And he flew right on top of Supreme and then Supreme goes down. And wait a minute, going for the cover now. One, two. No, it's Supreme kicked out. As you can see, all kinds of other weapons in the ring. A bed of nails. More by wire. Where wait a minute. Does, where does this stuff end? This is violent crap. When are we going to see a hula carrana? No, no. Oh, oh. Into the bed of nails. Supreme. That bed of nails suspended in the corner on the turnbuckles on each side of the ring, Larry. When are we going to see a fireman scary? Man? Reversal chaos goes into the other bed. Gosh. The fans here are bloodthirsty. They are sadistic, masochistic fans, not your normal pro wrestling fan, as Supreme is bringing the board with the barbed wire into the middle of the ring. Into the middle of the ring, Supreme 
And you gotta remember, wait a minute, and look at this table! Draped in barbed wire as well, out on the arena floor. What kind of thing is going through the head of Supreme? I cannot figure out what his plan is right now, but he's breaking down outside. Oh, look at this. Both men duking it out, and look at that. He just laid, just laying chaos on that table. Is punishment enough? This does not look good, man. I am predicting what is going to happen here. Look at this. Supreme's going upstairs. Wait a minute, chaos to his feet. Oh, look at that shot right to the groin. Elbow now to the midsection. Look at the pain expression on the face. Chaos is going up. There's a table and barbed wire still on the floor. The house camp's got his mind down and up. My goodness. Wow! Did you see that? Did you see that wrestling fan? In my day, my cousin, Victor Rivera, never would take that kind of fall. Who the hell cares and about get up. Who the hell cares about Victor Rivera? We're talking about Supreme and Kid Gas, and this is only the first round match tonight at the Palace. That's right, Let's, ladies and gentlemen. More matches in the round one include White Trash, Johnny Webb taking on Messiah in a match with Bar White oh, Ladder and Son Tax. Look at that, man. All over the place. Supreme. Just barely wobbling around ringside as Chaos going after that forehead, which has been busted wide open from that barbed wire. Also, in the round one of this tournament, we are going to see my homeboy, the Cubano, Carlito Montana, against Cronus in a bed of barbed wire and light bulbs. And look at this Chaos now, continuing to wail away on this monster Supreme. Whips him into the rope. Irish reversal now. Supreme. Oh no. Oh, face first. Went to, yeah. Kazoon tight. Dead. Oh my gosh. He's Look at dead. Chaos face first into that barbed wire. I also want to mention the last round one match of the tournament. We are going to see Axel Rotten take on the homeless man, Jimmy, in a match with a barbed wire bat, a bed of nails, and glass. And look at this now, Supreme inflicting more damage onto the kid as he's wailing away with these right hands continuously and slamming his head into that part by raking it across his face. You can see that both opponents are out of energy. Supreme is, oh. is almost out on his feet, exhausted. Double axe from handle the pain. now. Double axe handle now to the back of Kid Chaos. This now to the head. How is this guy still breathing? I don't know. We got that bed of barbed wire still laying in the ring. And you got, you can't forget, Larry, those two beds of nails suspended in each corner of the ring. You know, I wonder what going through the head of these guys. These said got very junk kids. Look at oh, this. power bomb! Power bomb onto the barbed wire. These are junk kids that are risking life and live in the middle of the ring for the excitement of this wrestling bloodthirsty, this sadistic young, wrestling fan. Well, this young kid, this 21-year-old, and oh, wait a minute now, Supreme Brother the barber, it's still tangled up with the kid chaos. Oh, this is, this is incredible. Man. I can I can not watch. Sometimes I have to turn my head. Well, Larry, if you're not going to watch, then get the hell out of here. You know, Because I want to watch you. These fans want to watch. I remember the days when you saw a close line once every two months. Oh, look at that. Look at that, he just draped that barb. What a smart move. He's making a sandwich, man. What a smart move that was by Supreme now. He just laid that bit of barbed wire right on top of Kid Gas, and he's signaling to go upstairs now. Problema jamón en el sandwich, chico. Supreme is taking his time and his breath because he's going to take a lot of energy to get onto the top rope and to come down with all his weight on the Kid Chaos barbed wire sandwich that he has there in the middle of the ring. Wait a minute now, Supreme to the top! Ah! I did it, my jamón, bro. salt! This has got to be it! His shoulders are obviously down, it's over, Supreme advances! One, two, three. Here is your winner, There he is, ladies and gentlemen, the official winner of the first match in round one of the King of the Death Match tournament. He has not had enough. This guy is sadistic. He's still giving out the punishment to Kid Chaos. 
who remains under the barbed wire embedded there. The XPW officials, referee Patrick Hernandez, ordering Supreme out of the ring so they can assist Kid Chaos, who is in a world of hurt. He is in a sea of pain, a world of hurt, as they are pulling the barbed wire from his skin, from his clothes. Look at this guy. He's a young kid, 20, 21 years of age, his whole life ahead of him, and he's getting involved with this violent crap. Well, I don't know what is happening here in the, the XPW. They are pushing this brand of violence. When I grow up, man, it was pro wrestling. You see a figure four, a close line once every four or five weeks, not every four or five minutes, man. This, look at this guy, he can barely stand up. He needs four or five guys to help him back to the locker room. He's gonna need assistance. He's gonna be in the hospital. He's gonna be out of action for four or five days. Looks of concern from the people in the crowd. They are very concerned. And I don't know what to make of this, man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, one more time we are back at the Hollywood Palace. Time for round two of the King of the Deathmatch Tournament presented by XPW, the only federation that is bringing it to you the real way. And we're giving you the variety of things, man. You get the violent crap, you get the high flying, you get the lucha libre. But right now, we are awaiting the entrance of the man, I believe, He's one of the top, the number one guys, the Messiah. That's right, you heard me say it on the TV show, man, that this guy should be on the top. This guy should be the champion. I think be before, a matter, it's only a matter of time before we see the SPW heavyweight belt around the waist of this man they call the Messiah. This match, as you can see, is going to involve a ladder, bar wire, and there's a bag of some tacks tied above the ring, in the middle of the ring. The only way to, to get to that bag of some tax is to bring the ladder in and put it in the middle of the ring. Unless one of these guys can jump 10 feet in the air and grab it with the hand, then I, I, I'm gonna wait to see that. But let's see, we're gonna see the ladder. Now it's time for the one and only white trash, Johnny Webb. This guy symbolizes all that is wrong in America today. People complain about the teenagers drinking pregnancy, taking drugs. This is the kind of role model they got to look up to. Role model, this guy, white, look at that, drinking. Drinking the, the whiskey, what is in there, man? I saw him in the backstage. He was taking some funny pills. Look, he's hitting, hitting in his own head with his own cane. What is wrong with this guy? This is evident that his brain He's not all there from the drugs and the drinking, look, the blood. He's not even stepping in the ring yet. And the blood is already coming out of the head. Look at this guy drinking. Got no regard for his own body, for his own safety, for the safety of the, the people in the crowd. He's waving that thing with no, no precaution whatsoever. Look at the blood. Self-inflicted blood. Look at that. I can't, I can't figure it out. I, can, I am trying, I am analyzing, but I cannot come up with a reason. Only the, the booze, the drugs, it's a vaccine, the la, la pastilla que este se toma antes de, de la, del encuentro aquí. He has to stop it, man. This is a bad example for the children of America. Let's go up to the ring for the announcement. Please close. Ladies and gentlemen, the following bout is scheduled for one fall with no time limit. It is a round one match in the King of the Death Match Tournament. And it is a thumb, tack, and ladder match. <laughs> Introducing first from any damn trailer park he places, White Trash Johnny Webb. <laughs> and his opponent, he is from the King 
kingdom of God. And he calls himself the Messiah. Who's your savior? Okay, back to the Hollywood Palace for round one match between White Trash, Johnny Webb, and the Messiah. And Chris Cross, good to have you back again, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again back here, Chris Cross alongside of Larry Rivera, here at the Palace in Hollywood, California, in the King of the Deathmatch Tournament, and another match now in the first round, hitting the Messiah against White Trash, Johnny Webb, and now Webb into the corner, Messiah follows up. That's right, man, more of this violent crap. In this match, the object is to get the thumb tacks that are hanging from the top of the ring with the ladder. There's a ladder with barbed wire on it. You get the, the ladder, you climb the ladder, you get the thumb tacks, you use it any way you want it. And the Messiah going for a quick pin there. You're not gonna put out white trash Johnny Webb that quick in a match of this magnitude. We got a ladder, we got thumbtacks suspended high above the ring here at the Palace in Hollywood as the Messiah now on the offense. Whips Johnny Webb into the rope. Goes for a wait, wait, ducks underneath Johnny Webb. Goes all. Oh, look at that. What right a move that was. Right in the Kulian, says Guido was so Hey, you know. Look at that spinning leg drop now onto the Messiah. Webb going after the Messiah now. Going, wait a minute. Oh, he's going upstairs, it looks like. The Messiah. But still holding his groin area. Leg drop from the top. Onto the Messiah. The Alabama Channel, as we used to say. Alabama Jam. What, what are you talking about? Beautiful move. Well, that's the old days. This is XPW. The Alabama Jam. Far from comparing comparing it to this King of the Death Maps tournament. And now knee into the midsection of the Messiah. Forearm to the back. Webb continuing to punish the Messiah. You know, I was backstage earlier in the day and I see all the reporters from all over the world, international reporters, Mexico, Japan, all over the world to cover this Death Maps tournament. Wait a minute, look at this now, Suplex, there's a table set up. Oh. He suplexed him onto that table. That table didn't even give it first. Look at Messiah. Here on the arena floor. Now, now look at this. Webb coming up to the stage area. What does he have in mind? White trash Johnny Webb. He looks drunk. Oh, every, no, this guy, every time I see this guy, man, he's drunk. He's going for the ladder. This crazed lunatic now. And look at this barbed wire wrapped around the top of the ladder. This I've never seen before. Webb threw it into the ring, and now the Messiah just barely getting it back into the ring himself. And if you notice, the barbed wire is wrapped around the ladder, making that the twice the lethal potential weapon it can be. Definitely a weapon in this match. Neither one of these guys using a weapon until now. Webb's got the ladder. And wait a minute. Oh, he just kicked him. Oh, ran it into the midsection once, twice. Oh, look at that, the barbed wire cut across the head of the Messiah. This is incredible. He put him in the ribs, possibly breaking the ribs. look at this, Webb now. What is he doing? Yeah, I think you're right, he does look drunk. What an idiot. He's got this guy beat, and all he's doing is walking around the ring. It's those pills he's taking too, man, although La Patilla. Huh? He's taking that relaxer, that muscle relaxer. Oh, you mean like Tylenol or aspirin? No, no, I've no, had no. that this before. Stuff you, you, need, you need a paper, you need a prescription. I don't understand. Wait a minute now, look at this. Webb setting up the ladder. What? It's perched on that second rope. Going for a suplex away to the Messiah reverses. Webb into the ladder. The suplex right in the ladder. The back, the impact in the lower back. His pain is hurting. It's extreme violence. We'll look at this now. The Messiah laid flat out on the mat. Both men just barely getting to their feet now. The Messiah up first, though. Grabbing his back, Webb just nailed into that ladder, that steel ladder. Messiah, with very little give. This guy, Messiah, you know, this, this character is very controversial in the SPW. Wait a minute, look at this, Webb taking the rope. Oh, my God. oh, look at that. Slingshot in the ladder, hit Webb in the face. Right in the face. 
Once again, Webb setting up his own demise, shaking the ropes as the Messiah went off of the top rope. And look at him now on the floor. He's hurt as well. Looks like his hand is injured. His wrist, his arm, his entire upper torso is in a world of pain. Messiah fell off of the top rope and slingshotted his web right in the face with that huge steel ladder. But now Messiah, he's got the ladder himself, and instead of getting those thumbtacks, right, like you said earlier on, using it as a weapon, Larry. He's now, wow, this is acrobatics not seen in the Olympics. Ladder now! Whoa! Right into the midsection with the bar wire coming down with full impact. And white trash Johnny Webb laid out underneath that huge steel ladder. This drunken buffoon still laid in the ring, but wait a minute. Finally, Messiah has the sense, has the mental capacity to juice the ladder to get to the thumbtacks that are hanging suspended from the top of the ring. Wait a minute, Webb drunk in the ladder, and the Messiah goes down. That was a fall. Very precarious fall. What a smart move that was on the part of white trash Johnny Webb. Drop kicked that entire ladder. Well, the Messiah was on top, and look at the thumbtacks just teetering high above, waiting for someone to grab it. And it just could be white trash Johnny Webb as he sets the ladder up now. Let's can he even climb guy, it? Let's see if he can keep his balance on the... That it appears that he has to back. He's got it with the rope. Whoa, oh, that geez. rope just slung back now. That's the, and look at that, the ladder just falling right on top of the Messiah as Webb fell off of the ladder himself. And now... He's unwrapping the back with the thumbtacks. Yeah, there it is, the thumbtacks. Thousands of thumbtacks right to the head. Right to the head. This is real fans. This is not plastic thumbtacks. This is not a thumbtacks that you buy in the toy store. This is the real McCoy, brother. You're out. You got that for sure. And look at this. There they are, the thumbtacks all over the ring looking methodically spreading him out now is white trash johnny webb he's getting ready to get busy with them it looks like the messiah though he's still down what does webb have in mind white trash he's making a bet for messiah wait a minute now look at this oh no right into those stump decks you gotta be kidding ddt oh, look at this webb getting the short end of the stick as well both men are hurt he's got those stump decks in his hands it looks like this was a, a, a move of double punishment. Not only Messiah get his head in the thumbtacks, but look at White Trash. He's got the thumbtacks in his shoulder and his back all over the place, man. White Trash Johnny Webb. This is right down his alley, Larry Rivera. But the Messiah giving up, giving him a hell of a fight as well. And look at this now, the Messiah perched up on the top rope here at the famed Hollywood Palace. It appears he's going to go for a possible suplex, the superplex from the top rope, and if that happens, if this connects, it's going to be much suffering happening. Thousands of thumbtacks scattered on the ring floor. Wait a minute now, the Messiah is reversing it. Oh, look at that. The back of the head. Sunset flip on the top of the thumbtacks. The back of the head. Did you see the way he bounced off? The thumbtacks. Thumbtacks in the head of the Messiah, but look at this. The Messiah in the world of Earth will go for the pin. Oh, look at that white trash. How the hell did he kick out of it? Only a two count. These pills, these pastillas, the white trash Johnny Webb is giving him the super strength to not feel any pain. He's killing the pain, all right, man. Must be talking about aspirin. Wait a minute, look at this now. Whipped into the road. The Messiah duck underneath. Webb going for a clothesline. Oh, flying body tackle. Webb goes down. Going for the pin now. One, two, this could be it. The Messiah advances. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Cross has just taken off to the ring to give us the official announcement. This has been another round one match of the King of the Death Match Tournament. Messiah has reigned with the victory in the middle of the ring. He's not finished. He is administering more punishment. Going to bring him down one more time, it appears, on the sum tax. Bango, right there. Look at that, man. I cannot believe how these guys can endure endure the pain that they are going on and these guys have to wrestle again there's a round two and more stuff to come let's look at look at the bottom of the shoes look at the shoes of the giant johnny webb the thumbtacks are embedded 
in the bottom of the wrestling shoes, right there. There's a good shot. Extreme close-up. Look at that, brother. Está metido ahí en el, en el, en el pie. He's, he is out. Johnny Webb is out. It's all over. The lights are out. Close the refrigerator. It's all over for this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of the deathmatch tournament. Brutality, sadistic, masochistic, pain. It's all kind of cut. It's, co it's going on here in the palace. Still to come, we have Cronus versus Carlito Montana in a bed of barbed wire and a bed of light bulbs. And we are also going to see renowned king of violence, Axel Rotten, taking on XPW star Jimmy, the homeless guy. And in that match, we are going to see a barbed wire bat, a bed of nails, and glass. This guy can hardly walk, man. He needs the help of all the officials. Well, 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 you know what, man, it's time. It is time now. Now I'm getting excited, brother, because this is one of the main guys here, Carlito Montana, fellow Cubiche, brother. Me and him, we go out there, we get a Cuba Libre, some arroz con frijoles negro, a little bit of le lechon ahí, lechon asado, and it's time for the party, brother. We get it, we don't go to sleep till 10 o'clock the next morning, man. He said, great time with this guy, and he can take it in the ring. He can take it and give it up. That's why he's here to go for the title, to, for the chat, to be the king of the deathmatch tournament. Look at him, man. This is one big guy. N maybe not big in the statue, but big in heart, big in the spirit. He, he, look at the guy he's going to have to face. This guy, Cronus, twice his size. But Carlito Montana, he has it together. Studying, constantly studying. A little bit of partying, and then a little bit of more studying the tapes, the footage, watching the footage of all the opponents here in SPW. Sometimes watching the footage from Japan, from Mexico, making sure that he's on top of it. Now it's time for the world famous John Cronin. A lot of people know this guy as a member of a famous tag team, but now he's on his own, and he's proving that he doesn't need anybody else. He can take care of business by himself. We are talking about Young Crony, the, the master of the 450 splash, hellfire and brimstone coming down, raining from the top of the ropes in the middle of the ring. Welcome him to the Hollywood Palace, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only world famous, Young Crony, right here in XPW, making his appearance here in the King of the Deathmatch tournament. Let's go up to the ring with Chris Cross for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my left, he is from Miami, Florida, Carrito Montana. And his opponent to my right, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Now getting ready to lock up my homeboy Cuviche, Carlito Montana, and a former eliminator, Cronus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back once again. I have to fill in for that buffoon Guido, but right now, third match tonight here. Carlito Montana going against John Cronus. And this should be interesting, Larry. Okay, as usual, I'm going to run down the conditions of this match. In this match, we're adding a new stipulation. What was that? There's the bed of bar wire and a bed of light bulbs. Oh, a bed of light bulbs in this Light bed. bulbs, chief. Outside of the ring they are. Outside the, the light bulbs. And as you know, 
you a little kid, you break the light bulb. Those pieces of glass are very fine, very sharp. Very sharp. They sink into the skin. You mean, you mean sharp. Very sharp, man. It's sharp. That's right. That's right. All right, well, look, look at this now. John Cronus. And look at the size of Cronus towering over the Cuban crippler Carlito Montana. Oh, look at this now. Montana the outside of the ring. You know, there's a big difference in the size, but Carlito is a tough guy. He's a very tough character. Uh, I'm not denying that. It's not to be underestimated. Not denying that whatsoever, Larry Rivera. And right now, speaking of Carlito Montana, on the offense now of former ECW Tag Team Champion John Cronus. And this punches. is right up Cronus's alley, this kind of a match. He punches, man. He's laying in the punches to the forehead. Already busting open the forehead of Cronus. Wait, 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 wait. That's that bed of barbed wire we were talking about earlier on. Sneak, we just saw it right on the other side of the ring. Carlito, no shirt on. We're flying into it. You know, a lot of these guys in this match, you got to think when they got clothes on or a shirt or whatever, it's to their advantage because it protects them from all these objects. And look at this Carlito bare skin and all. Went right into that barbed wire. That is a testament to the character of Carlito Montana as he whips Cronus into the guard rail. Falls up with the clothesline, too. And here he is, John Cronus busted open already. In the early goings of this matchup here, John Cronus, series of right hands now from Carlito on to Cronus. That's right, Chris Cross. Only Carlito has the cojones to come out here with no shirt on, man. All right, look at this now. John Cronus taking him, uh, I guess, to the other side of the ring. Oh, there it is, that pedal light bulb. What's he doing? No, 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 no. What I'm talking about, the chart, charts, man, the fragments all over the place. Look at the back. Look at the back of Carlito. Carlito Montana into that bed of light bulbs. Unbelievable. I have never seen anything like this before. A lot of these fans haven't either. And you're going to see it only here at XPW, the most brutal tournament in the history of the United States. And as you can see, Cronus is setting up another table on the other side of the ring. Carlito comes and, and greets him with a foot to the face. Chopping away now as well. Wait a minute, Carlito six. He's going to sit Cronus on the table. Yeah, there he is. Cronus set up on this table now. Carlito going back into the ring. Look at this, it's like John over. Oh! The sent on, he tried the sent on on Cronus, no good. The table did not break. I think he did not pull the full force on that because he just landed the light bulbs and half of them are stuck in his back. Jeez. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And like you said earlier on, when we were mentioning, no shirt into that no bed shirt. of light bulbs. No shirt, man. Look at him pulling up. Oh, look at that. He's, He's got, got that a... bottle left over. It looks like my white trash Johnny Webb. Cheap some ass. sort of Fucking some boy. sort of alcohol or something. Some boost, a tequila bottle or something, man. And it didn't even break. He hit that glass bottle right over his head, and it didn't even break. Now John Cronus on Carlito Montana here. Look at his oh, back. He just slammed it right into that table. Look at his back. The injury sustained. By Carlito Montana and that fallen the light bulb. He's got some shards of glass, I think I saw, stuck in his back. The shard of glass are in the back. And now Cronus now wailing away on Carlito. Well, now he wants to bring him in the ring. He was set up on that table, but now Cronus, it looks like he's got something else in mind. Carlito's a little disoriented. He does not know where he wants to go. Wait a minute now, John Cronus, it looks like he's going for him. From the ring apron onto the floor, and the table, a power bomb. Oh, 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 power bomb. From the ring apron. Go. Wait, going for the pin now. Referee Hernandez. Three, it's over. Cronus advances. If Carlito would have kicked out of that, he's Superman. He's, he's not human. Look at Cronus. Blood all over the face. The fans in the crowd roaring with approval. This another round one match in the King of the Deathmatch tournament. Chris Cross back on the way to the ring to give us the official announcement and the referee attending to Carlito Montana who is ending up as most of the wrestlers end up in this deathmatch tournament face down flat on the floor look at the back of Carlito Montana blood cuts 
the XPW, officials, XPW security, they are needed to come and help him to the back. Look at that. Look at the shot of the blood. Look at Carlito's face, man. He's barely conscious. The pain is evident in his face. As my theme tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I am reiterating, everybody is in a sea of hate in a world of pain. Our next match coming up in the round one of the King of the Deathmatch Tournament, we have Axel Rotten against Jimmy, the homeless guy. Okay, folks, now it's time for the fourth and final match of the first round of the Deathmatch Tournament here in the Hollywood Palace. It is the match with Honest Jimmy against Axel Rotan. And in this match, we are going to see a baseball bat with barbed wire wrapped around it, the bed of nails and cheats of glass. Can you imagine that? Falling through a cheat of glass in your back? That's what, it's all over, man. You, you are in the hospital for two weeks. Homeless Jimmy is still looking for his first victory here in XPW. Let's see if now is the moment for him. Here he comes, fans, to the Hollywood Palace. It's none other than Homeless Jimmy. He walks the streets at night with his chopping cart, looking for weapons to use in the match. Look at him there. He's got cheap metal. He's got a chair. He's got all kind of stuff that he can use in the match. And you know what? He has never won a match here in XPW, and he absolutely does not care. All he cares about is inflicting the pain, inflicting punishment on all his opponents that he runs across here in the XPW. So let's get ready for this final first round match of the XPW King of the Death Match Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another man, another pro, another wrestler that can be considered one of the top contenders for the king of the deathmatch tournament. I am speaking of none other than Axel Rotan. He look, he his, his head is full of scar tissue that he has suffered in the many battles and war. And look at that, fans, a man who almost needs no introduction. His name is Axel Rotten. He is a legend in the hardcore wrestling industry. He is known around the world as a man who can take the most brutal of brutal punishment. And you can see in his hands the weapons he has ready for this match. Wood, axe handles, wrapped in barbed wire. And at the present moment, at the present time, he's going ringside to the fans, showing the fans that this is the real stuff, man. He didn't go down to a toy shop on Hollywood Boulevard to get fake barbed wire, plastic barbed wire, like we see in other federation. This is the real thing, man. It is metal, sharp, barbed wire, capable of cutting a skin in an instant. Axel Rotten, man. He is a one-of-a-kind guy. He is here in XPW to show Homeless Jimmy what it's like to be hardcore, what it's like to get extreme, and at the time we're going to Chris Close for the ring announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my right, he is simply from the streets, he is Jimmy! to my left from Baltimore, Maryland, Axel Rotten. There's the bell marking the beginning of this final round one match of the XPW Deathmatch Tournament. Homeless Jimmy catching Axel by surprise in the corner with a right hand and not so fast as Axel. I got something for you. Here comes Chris Claus, back on my side. Whew. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, back once again, the fourth and final first round match here in the King of the Death Bed Tournament. It's Axel Rotten. He's got that ax handle with barbed wire. And he just raked it across the face of Jimmy. The blood 
He's flowing everywhere in this tournament. Oh, look at that to the back now. That barbed wire nailed on the back of Jimmy. Jimmy, as we know, he roams the streets of Hollywood at night looking for the weapons that he's going to use. But at the present time, the barbed wire is getting all over his forehead. And look at this now. Axel Rotten just taking it to Jimmy. But one of these guys going to advance along with Supreme, the Messiah. And don't forget John Cronus, man, who took Carlito Montana to the top and back in the last match. He certainly did, Larry Rivera. But right now, the bed of nails set up. On the oh, look at that, Jimmy. Right into, into the, the far side. Axel swinging with that might behind him. And Jimmy, homeless Jimmy, into that bed of nails. A wrestling fan, in this match, we have the barbed wire axe handle. We got a bed of nails. And last but not least, glass. And one more time now. Oh, Jimmy in again. Glass. This is the most dangerous object in this King of the Deathmatch tournament. And wait a minute now. Jimmy going to his shopping cart. He's got a chair, it looks like. But wait a minute. Axel beats him to the punch. Axel right now going. Oh, that sheet metal to the head. It's got the cheat metal, man. Would you watch your mouth, Larry? The cheat metal. What are you sheet talking metal. about? Sheet. Say it right. For... Cheat metal. I'm saying it. That's it. That's Axel right. Ron, wait, he's going to the shop. He's got a chain now. He's got that bicycle chain. Look at it wrapped in. Oh! The chain. Homeless Jimmy's got the chain that he spent all night looking for last night over there on our guy allowing you, man. And look at this now, continuing to wail away on the head of Axel Rotten. Wait a minute, he's got that, he's got that axe handle, he's got Axel's own axe handle. Oh, wait a minute, this, once again, Axel beating him to the punch. And look at the crimson mask on the face of Jimmy. This guy, homeless Jimmy, first he got the chip, then he got the chain. What's going to be next, man? What the hell are you talking about, Larry? Oh, never mind. Look at this now, Axel Rotten on the security railing in front of the sea of fans here at the palace. And those fans are coming dangerously close to the bar wire. Whoa! And look at that now, that cookie sheet to the head of Axel Rotten, fish now to the head of Rotten. And Rotten's still holding on to that, does he still have that? Wait a minute, Irish run, oh, reversal into the shopping cart! Oh and the security railing goes Jimmy! Oh my goodness. Unbelievable, and listen to these fans here in Hollywood, California. He's got that sheet metal again. Would you say it right this time, Larry? That's right, or that's don't right. call it at all. That's right. To the head. Axel Rotten. Ouch, man. That, look at the indentation of the head on the sheet metal. Right there. Look, stop look it. it. There, okay, it there it is again. Look, look at that, man. The sheet metal. And look at Jimmy's got one of his own. And look at this. Swinging away at one another. The first man to go down, however, is Jimmy. And now it looks like he's throwing it back into the ring. Sometimes I wonder what this head on the shoulder of homeless Jimmy is made of. Sometimes I think it's pure cement, pure concrete. And they, they're making their way to the stage now of the Hollywood Palace. And look at this now, that pane of glass sitting there. Oh my gosh, we move. Axel Rod's got a chair. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, está muerto. Está muerto. He's dead. You count it. One, two, three. It's over, man. It's over. This guy is dead. The glass has been utilized by Axel Rotten. Last match, we saw the light bulbs. Now we see the glass. There is nobody. I tell you, no one is going to get up from getting the slang in the glass like that. Incredible, incredible. The blood coming down the face all over of the homeless Jimmy. It appears that he's unconscious, he's not moving. XPW officials gathering around showing a lot of concern. They're all quiet. They're being very careful. They don't want to pick him up. They don't want to move him. His neck may be broken. The referee, all the officials, I believe they have made a call for an ambulance for paramedics to come out to the assistance of homeless Jimmy. They have been very delicate, very gentle in picking him up. This process is 
very delicate. As you can see, the paramedics making his way to the scene to treat Jimmy. He's got his back with all the doctor first aid material. The face of Hollis Jimmy, of course, is going to require stitches. Listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd. Jimmy's up. He's up. He's crazy, this guy. Está loco, este tipo. He's crazy. He, want, he still wants to fight. He wants to fight the referee. He wants to fight the SPW officials. He's crazy. He doesn't know where he's at. He's out of his mind. Homeless Jimmy. That was a very surprising conclusion of wrestling fans. And let me tell you something, Chris Klaus, this guy, JN, this payaso here, he used to be a member of the baddest tag team, West Side of the Mississippi. I'm talking about the West Siders, man. And now he's losing his mind. He's gone completely insane. Look at this. He's coming out by himself with no partners, no backup. He's out there by himself. He might get in trouble. You never know. Look at this. He's crazy. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This guy, JN, this big fat tub of goo, going against Chronic, West Sider. You know, these two were a team, a unit at one time, and then this guy, this idiot just kind of snapped. He, this guy's a moron. He's a lunatic, but look at this. Chronic from Compton, California, taking it. Oh, look at that powerful clothesline. You know, man, there's no loyalty among lunatics. That's all I have to say. This guy, JN, he's crazy. He's out of his mind, and, and I don't know what he's, he's unpredictable. I don't know, I don't even know if he knows what he's thinking, but now going for a cover, J.N. Chronic just barely kicked out of that. You know, say what you want about him, look at the size of this guy. Not much muscle, mostly all goo. But look at this now, across the ropes, J.N., shoulder block. Chronic goes down, up and over again. J.N. across the ropes, going for the hip toss. And J.N. reverses it into a, somewhat of a slam there. This guy's about 300 What's he pounds. Doing? Look at this. He's got, he doesn't look like, too good. He doesn't look too good. He's groggy. Oh, no, wait a minute. Look at it. He's looking like he's going to regurgitate. What's this guy doing? I think he, a a, he had about 10 pounds of a Rosco Boyle last Oh, time. look at that. Chair to the, right to the back of J.N. to the head now. And what's he doing? Look at him just staggering. He's disoriented. He's, he's coughing something up here. And now a boot to the chest area from Chronic. Chronic setting him up now. From the far side. Look at the flip of the agility shoulder block. Look at, oh, he's, he, he puking. He's puking. Oh, he, oh look at that. He, he's got a puke. What's wrong with this guy, man? Let's see it again. We're going to say, oh. He's got my puking. This guy's the great Muda of vomit. A vomiting. This big fat tub of goo, what is wrong with him? And now a power bomb on the chronic. Going for the cover. What the hell is he doing? Did you see I've that? I've never seen a guy puke in a ring before. Look at him. He, he's gonna do it. He's gonna, he's gonna, he, 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 he's gonna puke. Oh, it's the Kendo Nagasaki of projectile vomiting. This ain't no Japan spin. Look at that into the audience. Look at this guy. This What's... guy is so stupid. He's eating a lot of, a lot of rice and beans earlier in the day. But I had no idea that he was going to regurgitate you think. Again, look at that. Look at that, DDT. What a minute, what a, again, oh. oh, puke, puke again. What is the hell is going on? What a buffoon this guy is. This is disgusting. Oh, now look at that, spin disgusting. it up. He's puking, this big fat buffoon. Never in my life, in my entire life watching the wrestling, professional wrestling, I had never seen this. I seen guys going in the ring drunk, with eating 10 pots of paella 
But look at this, man, these guys. This is one time I'm agreeing with you. What is wrong with this guy? This guy is such an idiot. This is JN. Wait a minute, going for a close right now. Doug Chronic. Who now right to the midsection. Chronic stomping away on this JN. This puking idiot. He's picking him up now. I'm sure Chronic has a little bit of that vomit on himself. Oh, don't even talk. I don't want to think about that. I just ate myself. Look at that Russian leg sweep. JN goes down. Oh, wait a minute now, Chronic signaling to go up. Wait, he's going up the rope. And look at this, flip over onto the back. And look at that, he puked again. That's more, more bomby thing. And look at that. From this guy, J. How the hell did that big fat double goo kick out of that one? Look at there's puke. There is puke all over this ring. I feel sorry for the rest of you guys. This, this ring, there is blood, there is vomit. What else is there going to be in the ring? Only in XPW. And speaking of XPW, tables are in favor here. And Chronic's got one himself. Look at this now, setting the table up in the ring. As this big lard ass just barely getting to his feet. Wait a minute now. Ball swinging to miss. He had a chair. JN goes down. Fish. Chair right to the face of JN. Vomiting JN. This guy is so stupid. Okay, here he goes down. He's being set up on. No. Wait a minute. Chronic's got something else in mind. Look at this. Wow. Look at right through the table. More vomiting. More vomiting. And the table leg just broke there as Chronic nailed JN, attempting to put him through it. The table leg snapped in too. Look at and the size of this guy. The size of this away. guy, man. He could be vomiting for the next three days. And now swung across the way, JN reverses, Chronic, whoa, slam! Wait, what is this? Hey, the lights are out again, man, what's going on here? I recognize this, it, it can't be, yes, Hey, it's Mustafa. Mustafa. What the hell is Mustafa doing in Hollywood? Mustafa Said. Did you know anything about this, Larry? I have no idea he was going to be in the building. Mustafa's today. here. Running through all that puke. I'm that still that trying to. ass left for him. Still trying to clear the smell of the vomit from this area here. It's this is disgusting. I've never been in, in through anything like this before. Wait a minute, Chronic. Now he's not done though. He set up the table in the corner. You have to make a rule before the matches. And it looks like obviously this Mustafa siding with Chronic and the West Siders. No hamburgers. No cheap burger before the wrestling. Hell no. Not for this guy. And look at this guy, wait a minute, Mustafa Chronic double team on the JN, through the table! Jesus. JN goes through the table! You can leave him there as far as I'm concerned, haul him out of here on a U-Haul! Mustafa juicing the table like an oil pump, putting the pressure on the head of JN. Probably wants to get some more puke out of this idiot! This and guy, what a lunatic he is! Mustafa speaking, talking to, to what himself, is, talking to the, to the ceiling, Talking to the, uh, maybe the, he thinks he's talking to the gods above. I don't know, wait a minute. Let's see, Chronic's got the mic. Man, they shut the mic off on these guys. You know what? It serves them right because they are uh, talking some extremely derogatory stuff, man. And we at SPW cannot be responsible for this kind of garbage. JN is laid out. He's in the middle of the ring, most likely awaiting a trip to the hospital. 
And I'm not talking about the regular hospital. I'm talking about the loony bin, Chico. You go see the, the psychiatrist. Look at him. He's moving, barely moving. Okay, it's time for the first round of the semi-final matches for the king of the death match tournament. It's time for the arrival of the Messiah, who has advanced by defeating white trash Johnny Webb. I knew it because I saw that Webb coming out all drunk that he was not going to make it. Messiah is here to take on Supreme. We will see who will advance to the king of the deathmatch tournament and take home the trophy. It is very obvious that the Messiah is not at 100%. His head is bandaged from the injuries he sustained from white trash Johnny Webb. And we will see if he can maintain his energy because the exhaustion is a factor that is going to come into play as these wrestlers continue in match after match with these kind of dangerous weapons all over the place. Now comes Supreme, ladies and gentlemen, the human horror movie. Here in the next semi-final round of the Deathmatch Tournament from XPW. This next match is going to have a bed of barbed wire, thumb tacks, and more nails. It's more brutality, more violence, and as you can see, Supreme is pumped up. He's got the adrenaline running. He's ready for this match. He wants to go all the way to the top. He wants to be the king. Look at that. Look at the bandage around his head. He's now inspecting the bed of thumbtacks at the side of the ring and threatening to use it in this match against Messiah. There are many fans in the ring, many fans are ringside that are fans of Supreme. Once again, let's take it back up to the ring with Chris Kloss for the announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my right, once again from Hollywood, California, the walking house of horrors, Sue Bree. And his opponent to my left, he is from the kingdom of God. He calls himself the Messiah. Here we go, fans. First match of the semifinal round between Messiah and Supreme. Getting brutal from the very beginning as they fight to get one another in the bed of nails. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. We have, like you just said, Larry, Supreme, both men bandaged up, and look at this, the bandage falling off. That's right, Chris Cross. What's the use of putting on the bandages when you know you're going to enter a violent match like this and just get busted open once again? I don't understand it, but that's what's going on here in the XPW King of the Deathmatch Tournament. Right now we have Supreme chasing after Messiah, and the ringside of the Hollywood Palace. Well, look at this now. Speaking of those bandages, Supreme's head busted open already. And wait a minute now, a boot to the midsection of the Messiah. Supreme continuing to wail away on them. Whips them in now to the rope. Wait, Irish whip, reversal, catapult from the second rope. Supreme ducked out of the way. Look at that drop kick. And Supreme was crawling out. Oh, he landed in the thumbtacks. This ring is a little jungle of pain. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, it's an instrument of torture. You got thumbtacks, you got barbed wire, you got it all over the place. 
And look at these fans here getting in the face of the Messiah. A DDT now delivered onto Supreme on the hardwood floor. We're at the pout way with the Messiah. What is he telling? He's telling referee Danny Ramirez he wants that thumb tap, better thumb tap in the ring. What the hell does he have in mind now? Supreme still laid out on the floor area next to the ring apron. Messiah just hovering above him now. Wails away on Supreme. And now the ring has truly been turned into an emporium of pain. Supreme and Messiah battling back into the ring where the action right now is really going to start. Wait a minute, look at this now. Supreme, T wait, Messiah going up. Supreme teetering on that second rope. Messiah, play drop. And look at the facial expression on the Messiah look at after the, landing in those thumbtacks. Look at the thumbtacks directly sticking in the head of Supreme. Right in the head, he's pulling him out of the hands. As you can see there, he's got him in the shoulder, in the back. I can understand it. This violent crap, every time. Larry, if you don't like this thing, get out of here. Look at Supreme. Thumbtacks in his arms, in his head, and his shoulders. The Messiah, oh, look at the Messiah. And his backside, thumbtacks everywhere. And this bed of nails, this bed of barbed wire. Look at Messiah. Messiah even had the thumbtacks in his nalgas there. Look at and that. What? His nalgas in the butt. Larry, oh, look at that. Into the Supreme follows oh. up. That's pain. That's torture. Look at the Messiah now. The facial expression. He is in a world of hurt. And Supreme. Well, look at this. He can tell he's plotting something out. Oh, he's grabbing that bed of thumbtacks. He is in a sea of pain. A world of damage. A world of pain. And a, a, an incurable type of ecstasy. Because Wait. these guys seem to be thriving. Look, on this paint. Look at this, Larry. Whipped into the rope now. Going for the sunset at the facade. Oh, no, no, no. He got up. Wait a minute. The cross factor into the thumbtacks. Messiah proving to be a very smart wrestler. He broke that, that leg, the, the sunset flip, and he got supreme into the cross factor. Well, look at this now. The Messiah holding his back in his head, and then supreme is down. Look at this. He, He's worrying about these fans now. Chant at the Messiah. Look at, look at the head of Supreme. The scars from the battles he has endured here in XPW. Well, this is it. We're coming down to the final few participants in this tournament. Two men left right now in the ring. The Messiah and Supreme. Oh, wait. oh he just put him on that bit of nails to the other side. Look at that. Oh, Jesus Supreme. Christ. Whoa. And he kicked him in the midsection, still against that bed of nails. One more the time. Side. One more this is time. This ridiculous. The bed of nails is proving to be a very formidable object. Right, you are, Larry. But wait a minute. Look at this. Taking the shirt off of Supreme and forcing him into that bed of nails. We were alluding to the shirt from Carlito Montana earlier on. And look at this now. Very smart move on the part of the Messiah into the other bed of nails. Supreme taking a huge amount of punishment. I cannot understand when this is going to end. The brutality, the sadism, the masochism these guys are showing. It is not over yet because we got another semi-final match after this with Axel Rotten and Kronos that's going to have light bulbs and glass and barbed wire. Whoa, Supreme! into that barbed wire suspended in the corner of the turnbuckle just shredding his back away oh and look at that low blow from supreme onto the messiah going for it looks like wait a minute what the high vertical no 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 messiah he's first into those thumbtacks and this crowd in approval look at this now supreme what's he doing What's he doing? He's ripping, he's ripping off the shirt. He's ripping his shirt up with the Messiah started. He's reaching under the ring for another a object, a weapon that, that is unknown to the I crowd. Know what he's looking for, he's looking, we got, oh, oh, he's got a chair. He's got a steel chair. Look at this, the Messiah. Look at the thumbtacks in his forearm. Wait a minute, what's the Supreme's got two chairs? Look at the arm. What's he thinking? He's going to use two chairs here? Not only is his head ripped up, He's right oh. on. He's bloody. Look at that. In the hand of the Messiah. Coincidentally enough, you know, this guy's the Messiah. And 
look, he's got, you know, I'm not even going to go there with this one. But look at this Supreme. He's got that steel chair. What the hell does he have in mind now? Well, you know, Messiah, as I was saying earlier, he's got a very controversial character. Very controversial. We at the XPW offices have been getting complaints from fans saying, what, how can you allow someone like this impersonating a deity? impersonating a holy person you can't but so you you can't believe that he's the real messiah i mean give me a break this guy claiming to be the savior wait a minute now look at this setting up the bit of the that's what he had in mind those two chairs they brought to the ring wait three look at this now oh to the head of the messiah messiah goes down it's a surprise that messiah can even walk now brought in his head thumbtacks in his arms his nalgas his back what is the chicken nuggets? Wait a minute now, look at this. He's going, he, that's what he had in mind. He, put, he built a little platform in the middle of the ring. Look at this, he put the bag oh, of thumbtacks suspended on those two chairs. And it looks like he's going to make another sandwich. What a smart move by Supreme if he capitalizes on it. Now look at this, he's trying to move that bed of barbed wire from the corner. And he's got that steel chair in hand still. But the first time I thought he was going to put the bar wire on top of the platform, but that would take too much time, so he's taking the shortcut. Look at the super! Make it to splash from the top! Going for the cover, this has got to be it! It's over, and I'm out of here! Another brutal brutality at his most brutal display from Supreme, who is on his path on the road, to becoming the king of the death match tournament. All he has to do now is face the winner of the Kronos and Axel Rotten match. We just saw a shot of Messiah there lying motionless. Motionless with the pool of blood next to his head. The fans, look at this guy. He can't believe what's going on in the ring. He's got a look of disgust in his face. These fans, supreme fans, are showing their approval by, by showing the hands and that is number one look at the blood look at the loss of blood that is being suffered by messiah he is laying in a bed of nails his own blood is there the spw officials are trying to figure out a way to lift him up without causing more injury to the body of messiah <laughs> ladies and gentlemen a look of concern on the people. Look at them putting on the gloves. Putting on the gloves, the, the paramedics. Paramedics coming from the back. This is not the XPW security. These are actual medically trained first aid paramedics. And they got to put the gloves on because you never know what's going on over there, man. So they're lifting him up. Look at the back of the head. The back of the head is blood. The front of the head is blood. There's some tax in his head that the paramedics are going to have to remove with pliers or, or uh, scissors. He's going to need stitches. Many days of recovery, possibly a day or two in the hospital for Messiah. There is referee Danny Ramirez giving a hand to Messiah. And Johnny Webb, he's white trash. Johnny Webb, he's not finished. He is not finished with Messiah. He's, he's getting revenge for the earlier first round match that he lost to Messiah. He's getting back and look at this. White Trash Web, he's out of his mind, all drunk on pastillas. He has to be held back by the SPW officials. This is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I am having a hard time keeping track of all the action here from this table. Our sight, our view is limited, but I'm trying to see everything. Okay. We see Messiah again, he's on the floor suffering from the stool gash in the head and that was probably busted open more from the scene. The cane, that, not the sugar cane, but the, oh, look at that. That is, wow, wow, blood, the blood all over the place, a sea of blood, a pool of blood in the ring. Messiah is one of a kind, man, only here in XPW.
the death match tournament. It is a bit of light bulb, bit of barbed wire, and a barbed wire baseball bat match. SPW fans, this is Larry Rivera. I am telling you, I am physically exhausted from seeing all this brutal, violent crap tonight. And I can tell you, I am not a big fan. I cannot condone this action. But it is like watching a car crash. Señoras y señores, making his way to the ring at the present time, John Cronus. Look at that, an intimidating presence here in XPW. And at the present time, there are only three participants remaining in the deathmatch tournament. We have Cronus, we have his opponent in this match, Axel Rotten, and we have the winner of the last match, Supreme. It is coming down to three men after this match, there will be two left. Fans, don't forget that tonight the rule book, the rules are being completely thrown out the window. No rules. Coming back for another appearance here in the death match tournament is Axel Rotten. Look at his face. Testament to the brutality that he suffered in the earlier match with Homeless Jimmy. He's got blood. He's got the bandage all over. And of course, he has the axe handle with the bar wire wrap around it. To reiterate the, the stipulation, we got bar wire, phone tacks, light bulbs, and glass. Let's go up to Chris Claus. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my right, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Cronus! From Baltimore, Maryland, Axel Rotten! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's the final, semi-final match between Axel Rotten and John Cronus. And we are going to see two veterans, two hardcore veterans, getting it on here to decide who is going to go to the fight. Oh, Larry, okay. I'm back now, and look at this. Axel Rotten going to the outside of the ring, following up on John Cronus. Wait a minute, look at that. A bit of light bulb still left on the, on the arena floor. And look at this now. Axel Rotten has John Cronus in a compromising position here. Danny Ramirez, referee out on the, out of, whoa, low blow now on to Axel Rotten. Look at those light bulbs, man. The light bulbs, as we saw earlier with Carlito Montana, they left his back looking like a crossword puzzle, man, like a tic-tac-toe game. He's all over the place. Now, as we see Cronus falling to the mat and Axel grabbing the axe handle with the and wire. The axe handle, Axel's favorite toy. The winner of this match goes on to face Supreme for the final tournament match. And look at this now. Axel Rotten raking away on the forehead of John Cronus. Barbed wire ripping into the flesh. These guys have been down the road together in the past, but I don't think they, even these guys have been in a tournament this brutal and this extreme. The fans here at the Hollywood Palace are witnessing what is probably the most brutal incident in Hollywood history. Oh, look at the pain on the face of John Cronus. The blood spewing out of the forehead. And look at this. Uh, Rotten's got a handful of hair wailing away now with left fist three times to the forehead of Cronus. Oh, look at that low blow, Larry. The referee, Danny Ramirez, doesn't even care about the low blows. Why is that? What's well, going on? This is XPW, Larry. Wait a minute, look at this now. Cronus has Axel's, oh, look at that. Breaking away at Axel's forehead. Oh, look at this. This is disgusting, Chico. Look at this, John Cronus, this huge monster now, in the ring with the monster in his own right. Oh, and look at that, boot right to the chest from Cronus on to Axel Rotten. Axel Rotten is barely moving. He's still recovering from his match with Supreme. Look at that, boot now to the midsection. You got to give it up for all these guys coming down late here in the evening at the Hollywood Palace. Only three men left. Axel Rotten, Cronus, one of these guys will face Supreme for the title. And a DDT now from Rotten onto Cronus. Look at this now. 
Wait a minute, Axelrod, what's he signaling to? What's He's he looking, looking for? He told, I think he told one of those XPW officials he wants to... Wait, now he's got a chair. What's he want now, he's man? Got, oh, yeah. Well, look at that. Hey, he told those XPW officials to get that bed of barbed wire, Larry. And this is not just a regular part. Look at all the barbed wire on that with the blood from oh. other matches. Look at that. The blood of other opponents from the deathmatch tournament is, is stained. It's a testament to the pain and suffering that these young guys are going through to entertain the fans here today. And look at this now. Axel Rotten going after this beaten, this torn up Cronus. And he's got that barbed wire set up. Going for a suplex. Wait a minute. Cronus blocks it twice. Rotten. Wait, no, 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 no. Cronus reverses it. Suplex into the barbed wire. That's a remarkable feat of strength. This could be it. Cronus wins. And I'm out of here, Larry. Okay, Chris Cross. As we saw, Cronus took the big 300 plus pounds. I saw Rotten and suplex him into that bed of barbed wire. Referee Danny Ramirez lifting the hand of Cronus. We see Axel here on the ground suffering. The blood coming out from everywhere. Cronus now is getting ready to face Supreme in the finals. This John Cronus is mental in the head. Este tipo tiene un problema en la cabeza. Es un loco, chico. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Axel Rotten can barely move. He's wrapped in barbed wire. But ladies and gentlemen, he is no stranger to this situation. We have seen him do many battles, including those with his brother, Ian Rotten, where they end up looking like Swiss cheese. And look at that. They got to pull the barbed wire. He's stuck in his back. He's stuck in his shirt. All over, he's wrapped around him like like a, a piece of rubber band. All the XPW security is required to help him to get it up, but he refuses. He wants no help. He's going to get out of there by himself. He's determined to be his proud self. He wants to keep the pride. They are chanting for him. He wants to say something to the crowd. He's looking for the microphone. Look at the blood on his forehead. The fans love this guy. They love Axel. Axel Rotten, he is a legend. Let's see what's on his mind, man. I gotta say one thing. Fuck ECW. You're the craziest motherfuckers I've ever wrestled in front of. And don't ever let it be said. And I'm gonna put over every guy in the dressing room, including the guy that just beat me. This is the hardest working bunch of motherfuckers in professional wrestling right now. Motherfuckers, not back with those pussy ass fuckers like Tommy Dreamer. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, we have the XPW heavyweight title match between Chris Candido and the real deal Damian Steele. And then we are going to find out who really is the king of the death match. bout is your main event scheduled for one fall with a 60 minute time limit and is for the XPW World Heavyweight Championship. We are now seeing the product of Beverly Hill, the one they call the real deal, Damien Steele, ladies and gentlemen, the two-time XPW Heavyweight Champion. He is recognized by the fans and the wrestling public as one of the top contenders for all of the wrestling world. Damien Steele, the one and only, he's going to face the toughest opponent yet in his history of wrestling. The one and only Chris Candido. This is going to be a match for the XPW title. 
entering the ring right now is Damien Steele preparing for possibly the match of his life to defend the XPW heavyweight title. As you can see, he is accompanied by the hierarchy. Right here in the Hollywood Palace, it's a big match, a big time right now. The fans should be proud that they get this caliber, this quality of match here in the XPW in the Hollywood Palace. Damien still now listening to the fans. He doesn't like what the fans are saying to him, but he does not care. The XPW officials are coming out and removing the remaining members of the hierarchy from the ring. They want this to be a fair match, no interference, therefore, no members of the hierarchy. There he is, the opponent for this match, the one and only Chris Candido, as usual, accompanied by the very beautiful Miss Tammy Sitch. Damien Steele not, not reacting too kindly to the reaction that Candido has greeted. These fans love Chris Candido. And look at the fancy trunks he's got on. He's got the headband on and a lot of lengua from Tammy Sitch there for good luck. Chris Candido is a very lucky guy, man. I'm telling you, if I was this guy, I would be very happy to be in the presence of a wonderful, beautiful woman like Tammy Sish. This Candido giving his salute, his salutation to his fans throughout the Hollywood Palace here. They're all the way, it's sold out, it's packed here. They're packed to the balcony, in the back, in the floor, all around the bar, everywhere. Okay, Chris Candido warming up, getting ready. And Damien still outside the ring, not knowing what to make of the situation. Unlike the other wrestlers who've been wrestling in this death match tournament, Chris Candido, full of energy, full of life, ready to defend the XPW heavyweight title. Wow, look at that. That's, that's what I call a work of art, man. That's, look at that muchachita. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Chris Candido and Tommy Siege here at the Hollywood Palace. Let's take it up to Chris Claus for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my left, the challenger from Newark, New Jersey, accompanied to the ring by Tammy Siege, Chris Candido. His opponent to my right, he is from Los Angeles, California. He is the leader of the hierarchy and the XPW World Heavyweight Champion, the real deal, Damien Steele. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see history being made here in the palace in Hollywood as Patrick Hernandez handles the XPW heavyweight title belt and as is tradition when title matches take place chose the belt to the fans this is what is at stake and let's get ready to roll here ladies and gentlemen all right here we are Chris Kloss alongside of Larry Rivera and this is it Larry the XPW world heavyweight championship on the line as just displayed there by senior official Patrick Hernandez the real deal defending against Chris Candido that's correct Chris Kloss as we gotta hear the color and elbow tie up starts off with a back and forth between Damien Steele and Chris Candido man they're both coming out of the starting blocks like firecrackers ready to win this title they certainly are and what a well, look at that chop and look at that fist right to the head whoa steel to the eyes now a little hierarchy move for you right there whips him into the far side up and over goes goes candido wait a minute look at this 
up and over and onto the floor, Candido. It seems like every match tonight is spilling onto the floor. Maybe 10% of the matches are lasting in the ring. Well, you know these guys, look at this now, Steel catapulting up and over and on to Chris Candido with the flying body tackle. Beautiful plancha by Damian Steele. Look at this now, referee Pedro Hernandez going for the pinfall, the only two. Candido kicked out of it. We could very well see a new XPW champion here tonight in Hollywood. The fans excited at the prospect of these two titans clashing right here in Hollywood. They are taking a Whoa! force right into the guardrail, man. Steel goes into the steel. The steel barricade. Wait a minute now. Reversal. Candido goes into the other side. And up and over. Wait a minute. No, look at this. The fans cut. Moving out of the way. Yeah. Steel. Push Candido over into the fans area. We got we to gotta get security down there if we can. These ringside fans here in harm's way. Hernandez going into the crowd. They are taking it to the environments of the palace please keep in mind that this match falls count anywhere they are all over the place man the palace itself the entire ring for this match has falls indeed do count anywhere and look at this tammy lynn cinch just barely got out of the way as her man candido threw steel onto the stage area and here they are this is the stage where many rock and roll bands play they play you see oasis on the stage but now we see the high vertical suplex by Chris Candido reverse. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at the pain on Candido now. Just dropped on the small of his back on that hardwood stage right next to the XPW ring. And Tammy Lynch is trying to cheer her man on. Senior referee Patrick Hernandez making the count. And please keep in mind that this is not a death match. This is this a is no. Oh, sorry, Larry. I thought that was it. I thought he won it. I'm just making the fact that this, this isn't the violent crap we've been seeing for the last hour or two. This is the good stuff, brother. Call it what you want. This is XPW. And look at this now. Steel going farther back on the stage. Oh, look at this now. Wait a minute. Reversal. Steel goes in the ring the hard way. Up and over the top row. Wow. Thrown into the ring. Like a sling chuck, man. The sling shot is what is yes. what you meant to say. Yeah, sling shot. There goes Candido with the ladder with the bow wire. ladder now. Left over there from one of the deathmatch tournament matches. Look at this now. He's putting it in the ring. Steel laid out flat. He might climb on top of that ladder and jump, jump on top of, of, of Damian Steele. I can't even understand you, but look at this now. Candido going to the top. What is he doing? Tammy Lynn doesn't know what he's doing. From the top of the ladder. No. He missed the headbutt. The patented diving headbutt of Candido moved out of the way, man. As the ladder slipped out of the way, Candido barely got the air he needed to get over to steal. But look at this now. Look, they're going into the audience here at the palace. Where's Candido going? Candido's head is straight for the bar, man. Maybe he wants a drink. But look at this. Yeah, they're going to the bar now. Steel and Candido both. This match once again for the XPW World Heavyweight title. Steel defends against Candido. Look at this. He threw Steel over that bar. And look at the bartenders. They were in the middle of making drinks for other customers. They scurrying for cover. Candido's grabbing the chair. Oh, to the head of Steel. Look at this now. Steel in the bar area. What the hell is going on here? Slams Candido's head into the bar. The bar itself being used as a weapon now. He's pouring a little a tequila there, a little grenadine into the head of Chris Candido. And I think Candido likes that a little bit. What is that stuff, tequila? It's, wait, oh, no, 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 oh, look at that fish now. Back and forth. Look at this now, back and forth once again. Both these guys fighting on the board here in the palace. Look at this, referee Patrick Hernandez. I think there's a few upset customers because they can't get a beer right now. Look at this now, Steel. Wait, oh, he looks like he's going to toss himself. Oh, he just fell off the bar. Candido now. There he goes. Candido's on the top of the bar. He's reigning supreme there. He's get, look, he's getting a little liquid. He's getting the liquid courage. He's getting ready, man. Look at it. Look at look it. There he goes. He's still oh, the big elbow right from off the top of the bar. That's like six, seven feet. Candido dropped the big elbow. Referee. Oh, it's over. Candido wins the title. This is proven to be a mistake for Damian Steele when he accepted the false count anywhere match. 
Chris Candido is now the true XPW heavyweight champion. Candido wins the XPW World Heavyweight Championship from the real deal, Danny Teal. I can't believe it. Look at the celebration going on here in Hollywood. Look at Tammy. She's happy. She's beautiful. Happy, smiling. This is great. What an amazing match that was. And look at this. Chris Candido celebrating with Tammy Lipsitz with their new XPW Championship belt. Hey, you know, Chris Claus, you're saying they're celebrating right there in the ring. I can tell you what, man. There's going to be celebration someplace else. Huh? What do you, what do you, well, look at this stuff. Candido, the new champion. People, the excitement that is in the ring right now is flowing into the ring and out of the ring, into the crowd. The people are appreciating the new champion, Chris Candido, the brand new XPW heavyweight champion. And there he is, as always, along with Tammy Six, the new defeating two-time champion, Damian Steele, Chris Candido. And like I was talking about early, the energy, the excitement pouring out into the crowd, the crowd getting a little excited and some, getting a little out of control. Some sort of riot going on out here in the palace, the historic palace here on Hollywood Boulevard across from the famed Capitol Records building. What's going on out there? But the bigger story is in the ring, the new XPW champion, Chris Candido. Hey, Candido! Hey, Candido! I got a blast from the past for ya! Now look at the lights going out here, Rivera. What is... Hey, man. It's something very mysterious. Candido, Candido's still in the ring. is celebrating. It's got some sort of t-shirt now. What's but, he gonna do with that t-shirt? Well, the, the he's, entrance... He's gonna put it on, of course. Well, the entrance lights are on, Rivera. The, the lights are totally darkened. He's Here dark. at the palace in Hollywood. Hey, look at that Tommy, man. In the dark, she looks I, even better. All right, well, you're going to hey. knock this table over again like you always She's do. She's beautiful. I like it. Now, what is this? Who could this be? There's some. There's someone there. There's someone on the stage area. Hey, look at the... the Rob Black said there was going to be some sort of surprise here. We see the silhouette, the, the shadow. The I can't tell. Light, the entrance lights... The, hey! The, look, it's Shane Douglas, man. Shane Douglas in the SP Dome. That is the franchise, Shane Douglas. The friend, unbelievable. He's here in XPW. Let me ask you, man, what is Shane Douglas doing here in Hollywood, California? The franchise, Shane Douglas, here in Hollywood. He's trying to say something. I don't think his mic's working. He's getting into the ring, though. Barney's vice-looking motherfucker! 
You want a legal battle? I ain't afraid of battles. I'll be happy to take millions and millions of your dollars and then come right back here to XPW, hoist this company on my back like I did ECW, and make this fucking company a goddamn player in the sport of professional wrestling. And it's a XPW will send a message to those jackasses in WCW. Stick with Dick Flair. Give him a hundred year extension. You can always prop his corpse up in a corner someplace. Stick with that piece of shit, Hulk Hogan. You want to talk about drawing Hogan? What kind of fucking ratings have you drawn, you overblown, egotistical piece of goddamn shit? In 2000, Hulk Hogan, you can't suck my dick, you can't hold the franchise's dark strap, because I am what this sport is about, and you are a caricature from the 1980s. You suck dead, and you suck now! Franchise Shane Douglas wanting to make XPW a franchise. This is unbelievable, Larry. Hey, Chris Clock, can you believe it? The reuniting, the reunion of Shane Douglas, the franchise, and his good buddy, Chris Candido. How did Rob Black pull this one off? The franchise Shane Douglas here in Hollywood. <laughs> Well, now it looks like Chris Candido, I, I love this, but Candido wants no part of this. Shane Douglas claiming to call Bill Bush of WCW here live in the ring of XPW. I think Chris Candido is using his brains, using his brains, making sure that he does not get involved in trouble. Well, look at this, though. Shane Douglas now attempting to contact WCW's Bill Bush. Hey, Chico, this is going to be good. that meek and mild and quiet and very humble servant of yours, Bill. <laughs> I'm sitting here with a few of my friends, Bill, and they say, Suck it! The franchise is the man! Franchise, what is this all mean? Look at this. The franchise is here now in XPW. I can't believe this, Larry. 
this cross, all I have to say is we have witnessed one of the most exciting incidents in professional wrestling history. What is going to happen now with Douglas? Douglas Candido, Tammy sits here with the new champ Candido embracing with Shane Douglas, the franchise, and I can't believe it. Like, what is going on the franchise here in XPW? History. History has been made. Okay, SPW fan, this is the moment of truth, the main event, the King of the Deathmatch Tournament, final. We are going to see John Crony take on Supreme in the King of the Deathmatch Finals. Hollywood, are you ready? Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the final match of the King of the Deathmatch Tournament. And for this match, I want to introduce you to our very special guest ring announcer, the lead singer of Slayer, Kerry King. <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit all night. Let's get started. The following bout is scheduled for one fall with no time limit and is the final match in the King of the Death Match Tournament. Here we go, Supreme. This is it, Larry. The finals of the King of the Death Match. Supreme. Look at this ring draped in barbed wire. The ropes taken down. Unbelievable. And there he is, man. There is Kerry King from the band Slayer. Plays lead guitar. Oh, he's a guitarist? That's right. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no one told me that. Like, That's right. Kerry King. Oh, What's yeah. the matter with you, Chris? I don't know. You know, I'm very excited tonight. We got this whole King of the Deathmatch tournament. My apologies go out to Kerry King and all his fans. But more importantly right now, Larry Rivera, here he is. This monster supreme getting ready for battle against John Cronus in the final match of the King of the Deathmatch tournament in a bet of everything's match. Every stipulation that has been used earlier today is going to be on the line in this match. We're going to have glass. We're going to have nails. We're going to have barbed wire bat. We're going to have thorn tacks. We're going to have it all, man. Unbelievable. And look at this guy, Supreme. He's got those bolt cutters. What does he have in mind? Look at the bed of light bulb flaring in the ring. Right next to referee Patrick Hernandez in that bed of thumbtacks. Wow, look at the ring. You know, this... Hopefully, in my mind, this is the last time we see this because this is too much. This is these guys putting their life on the line. And here comes John Cronus. Chico, I hope nobody dies tonight. Okay, fans, there he is, man. John Cronus. He wrestled two times already, two brutal matches. And look how tired he is. This guy, look at him. He's just barely grogging himself over to the ring. Checking out the barbed wire. He can barely walk, man. Look at this guy. Look at this. I've never seen a ring like this here in the United States. Look at this now. The barbed wire caught around his leg just getting into the ring. Thank what you. are we going to expect in the matchup? He can't get it off himself. He's asking the referee for help to remove the barbed wire. Look at that. Look at Supreme just glaring him down. No fear from either one of these guys for each other. We now take it to special guest ring announcer, Gary King, 
from the rock group Slayer. Introducing first, from Hollywood, California, the walking house of horrors, Supreme! Yeah! And his opponent, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Kronos! John Cronus, Supreme, both ready for battle here. Battle like I don't think either one of them have ever seen before. Look at this, the stare off now. He's got those bolt clippers, Supreme does. Oh, look at this, boot now to the midsection from Cronus onto Supreme. And the bandage came off. Again, I have to ask the question, why wear a bandage, man? What is, what are we possibly gonna do? He's got that pen of light bulbs kicked now to the midsection. Cronus on the offense here. Oh no, 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 no! Immediately using the light bulbs. Kronos wants to end this fast, quick. He wants to end it quick, so he's going for the most extreme moves he can think of. Supreme just went into that bed of light bulbs in the middle of the ring, and look at that. Kronos just put a... Nailing Supreme with that light bulb by itself. And now that bed of thumbtacks as well in the ring. Drop kick now, Supreme goes down. It is very evident that both of these competitors are very tired. They both wrestled two times. They are exhausted. They are full of pain, full of hurt. And they just want to get through so they can get that trophy and be declared king of the death match. We'll give it up to both these guys. John Cronus and Supreme. Both of them getting to the final match. What hell they had to go through. And now look at this now. Oh, how do they get out of the ring? And look at that pane of glass. The corner of it just broke with Supreme's foot landing on it. Look at these two moving slowly. Like a couple of zombies, these two. They're... Look at this now. Whoa, no. He's going into that, that pane of glass. It's right behind Supreme. Supreme into the glass. Jeez. This is... I don't know how much more of this I can take, Chris Claus. This is it, Larry Rivera. This is the final match. I gotta hand it to you. I know you don't like these men. You're doing a great job, Rivera. But now, look at this though. Wait, wait. Cronus, he, he's bringing Supreme over to the stage area. Supreme went to that painted glass once already. Where are they going? Back in the stage, and you can see in the background all of the security for the XPW in case of an emergency. What's Something he doing? going What's he wrong. Got there? He, he had a little piece of barbed wire, couldn't tell. Oh, he's got that shard of glass, that oh. huge shard of glass, and he's breaking it right across the forehead of Supreme that says, Sack! The ultimate punishment, the glass to the forehead. Listen to this crowd here in Hollywood, California, loving it. And now both men getting back into the ring. Patrick Fernandez as well, being extra careful himself. Supreme, Cronus, battling back and forth, oh, spinning heel kick. There he goes. The Supreme showing the pain in his face. Both guys moving with the speed of turtles, of ants. This is because their bodies can barely take any more punishment as Supreme goes face first into the thumbtacks. Supreme face first into that bed of thumbtacks laid in the ring. Patrick Fernandez strictly there for the three count. Obviously, no disqualification, but he's got to be careful himself. And look at that boot, that solid boot to the chest of Supreme. Supreme's got the some tax lodging to his wrist. Ah! His hands, they're getting in the tape, and he oh goes my back in. Goodness! It. Look at Supreme's back just Damn. draped and covered with thumb tacks. You can see the blood from Messiah still in the bed of the thumb tacks there. Man. Stiff boot to the head from Cronus on to Supreme as referee Hernandez is looking at a oh, low blow. Low blow on the Cronus from Supreme. Cronus goes down Supreme now, hovering over John Cronus. Cronus has no idea of where he is, what is going on. He has no idea of what is happening. Look at that. Into Look at the... that. He's, he's trying to sit. He wants to sit down. He, he needs to take a break. He'd rather sit on barbed wire. These, these guys are so tired. You know, wait a minute, reversal. Wait a minute. Oh my, look at that guy. Supreme, 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 go tied up. Oh, look at Larry. Larry, look at this. What, this guy, he's 
gotta be dead and can't be breathing. Supreme is incredible. The amount of punishment this guy takes is, hey, you know what? You gotta calm down, man. Look at this You gotta calm down a little bit. You gotta relax. Did you see that? Calma, te chico. He went through the, the barbed wire in the ring. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. Never, never in my life. Oh. Intensity at the highest match. degree. This is the Hollywood Palace, the king of the death match. He's got the bar wire. He's got the There's not enough punishment going on here. Look at the back of Supreme's head. Supreme went right through that bar wire. That would look like to be 100 miles an hour. Going to the stage right now, Supreme. It's great. He's going for the table. He's getting the table. Look at this now, Supreme going over to the table, which is, what, no, it looks like he's got something else in mind. Did you see him there? He was pondering for a minute. And now look at these, he's going through that barbed wire, getting caught up. I can't believe what we just saw earlier. That was insane. Supreme, I can't, boy, he's got those clippers now. The bolt cutters, he's taking apart the ring, methodically taking apart the ring, cutting each part of barbed wire off of the ring. He's gonna take it off. And I'm imagining he's going to take it and put it on the table. Well, look at this now. Speaking of the table, John Cronus getting to his feet, setting it up himself. And look at that. He's right next to that ladder. Look at this now. Clipping all ends of the ring is supreme. What the hell does he have in mind here? It's, it's, this is a, a part in most wrestling matches you can predict. You can telegraph what the guy is going to do next. But with Supreme, it's no idea, no idea what is going through the mind, Larry, the brain of this guy. You're absolutely right, Larry. You never know what Supreme is. Oh, look at that. Oh, he just tossed it. It just raked right across the wrist, the arm of John Cronus. Now a spinning heel kick to the back. I believe he's actually stuck in the wrist of Cronus. If oh, you look stuck. at Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that, that barbed wire. He can't get it off of him. Supreme now. Look at him. He's holding his, his groin area, it looks like. Or is it a midsection? I can't tell. Got to get these photographers out of the way. This match is just one giant mess, man. One mess. Barbed wire all over the place. Glass everywhere. You have to be careful. With Forearm to the back now. Mess or not, Larry. This is it. The winner will be crowned king of the death match. Will it be John Cross? Will it be Supreme? Oh, what's he doing? He's wrapping him in barbed wire. And look at Supreme, he's so tired, so full of pain, he can hardly resist. Look at this now, what, he, he's almost unconscious, it seems like, he's barely wobbling here. John Cronus now, hammering away to the back. Oh, look at that, look at that. Supreme using the barbed wire to his advantage now. He's like a Michelin man, a Michelin man made of barbed wire. Setting up his own demise there with Cronus, wrapping Supreme in the barbed wire. And then Supreme just jumped at him, wrapped in that bar wire. And look at this, he's going for that ladder, Larry. I knew it. Okay. I knew it. It's all coming together now. The logic in Supreme's mind is coming together. He's going to make himself a human, human cannonball rest, wrap up in bar wire. Look at this now. Supreme going to the top of that ladder. He's draped in that barbed wire. Cronus laid flat out oh, from the top. Oh. And the table barely gave. Look at this now, Travis Hernandez, it's over! That's Supreme it. wins the title! Supreme is the king of the death match. Can you believe it, Chris Claus? Well, Chris Claus is on his way to the ring to make the announcements. Supreme is the winner. Look at this. Supreme is the winner, the king of the death match. He needs to get caught, and now referee Patrick Hernandez bringing the trophy this is a proud moment but first he needs to cut himself loose get himself free from the barbed wire there he is wrestling fan your new xpw king of the death match supreme the wrestling fans showing their approval for this man this is a, a one-of-a-kind guy he's out of his mind out of his mind, he got through all of the participants. That includes Cronus, that includes Homeless Jimmy, Axel Roth, and all these guys. He is on top of the mountain. And Cronus is coming back out, not to beat him up, not to inflict more punishment, but to offer his hand as a sign of congratulations for being the Deathmatch King.
the sign of sportsmanship right here in XPW. Kronos and Supreme. There is a lot of respect between these two and the wrestling fans are here standing in approval of these two guys, these two competitors, these two legends of hardcore. Kronos is a man by going out there and offering his hand. Not a lot of other guys would do this, but he went out there, he realized that Supreme is a new star, he's a new guy in the future. A future legend has been born. Look at that trophy, ladies and gentlemen. Eight feet tall, the trophy is bigger than both Supreme and Kronos, and you really have to give it to all eight participants. All eight participants of the King of the Death Match tournament, but only one man ruled Supreme. There he is, the king of the deathmatch tournament. He's surveying the situation, looking at all the weapons around him, and he just collapses. He collapses in the middle of the ring. He cannot take it anymore. He's exhausted. The blood is pouring out. The officials are asking him if he's okay. Cronus asking him if he's okay. And he says, so I'm, I'm all right, brother. Everything is good. I am enjoying the life right now. I'm taking in the celebration. I'm going to go home with this trophy. I'm going to bust open a bottle of tequila, have a few chats, maybe kick back with the muchachitas, and that's it, man. I am the king. I'm the king of the death smash. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank you for joining us in XPW home video for the king of the death smash tournament. All kind of excitement here tonight. We saw a new... XPW World Heavyweight Champion crown. Chris Candido beating real deal Damien Steele right in the middle of the palace in front of the bar. And all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So we want to say goodbye to all you wrestling fans. Thank you for joining us this evening. folks here's a little bit of action that went down at the palace in hollywood a brief intermission to all of the carnage taking place that night as christy mist came down to the ring to once again apologize for the absence of big dick and you're going to be stunned by what happens next immediately following this segment we're going to give you a special bonus match as white trash johnny webb takes on the messiah inside of a steel cage. Once again, I'm sorry Dick couldn't make it tonight. He got in a car accident on his way back from his parole office. Hey, look who's here, man. It's the wife of the boss, Lizzie Borden and John Crono. This abuse of power by Lizzie Borden, the wife of the XPW boss. And now look at this. He's ripping the clothes off. Cronus is a pervert, man. Look at this. He's ripping the clothes off. Chrissy Miss, this is not fair, man. It's two on one. Chrissy Miss, a defenseless woman. She is, look, look at this. What the ridiculous. Cronus, man, what's happening here? It finally, finally, XPW officials coming to the ring to help out Chrissy Miss. This poor girl is barely capable of defending herself against a 300 pound monster like John Crono. What is happening here? We have to have some decorum, some amount of respect for the woman in the ring. This is only his common courtesy, man. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, the ring is in chaos right now. People don't know what's happening. They are helping Christy Miss 
out of the ring. Chris Cross is standing over there trying to make sense of what's happening. Both of the referees, Patrick Hernandez, Danny Ramirez, as you can see, the XPW officials are coming in. They are helping Christy Miss until it appears that she's okay. She's walking back. Unbelievable. And Larry Rivera, here we are, LA Sports Arena, our main event tonight for XPW TV. The Messiah. That's right, Chris Cross. The excitement here at the Sports Arena is reaching a fever level, a fever pitch. If you know what I'm talking about, the people are waiting for the appearance of one of the greatest wrestlers the XPW has produced, the Messiah. Well, I think I know what you're talking about. How you're talking is a different story. And here he is, the Messiah, in the steel cage now. Do you know, Chris Claus, since I've been here in SPW, I've been doing a lot of studying, a lot of watching the tapes, watching the footage, studying the wrestlers. And I am coming to the conclusion that the two wrestlers we are going to see tonight are the future stars of the SPW, Messiah and Johnny Webb, the white trash. And speaking of white trash, Johnny Webb. And there he is on the extreme screen here at the LA Sports Arena. You know, the feud, the bitter feud between Webb and Messiah may be concluded tonight at the Sport Arena here in Los Angeles. And there he is. What, what's he What's he eating? He looks like a, a pill, a pills of aspirin or prescription pharmacy. Hey, that looks, that looks like the muscle relaxer, man. I know about that stuff. What? What that, is that? The muscle relaxing. It looks like aspirin or something. I don't no, know. No, no, you don't know what you're talking about, man. I hear it sings. I you hear it what? sings. I hear it sings, man. And now I'm seeing things, and I'm seeing two guys with Singapore canes in the confines of a huge steel cage. And it looks like referee Danny Ramirez trying to restore order as we go up to the ring announcer Guido. All I know is his absolute chaos is going to erupt in the middle of this cage. Wait a minute, Webb's grabbing for the mic it looks like. He's trying to get it from Guido. Let's listen to what Webb has to say, man. Oops. You ready? You ready, Jesus? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you real dead this time. Hey, you got to be careful when you're talking about Jesus. Man. Hey, you, Kramer, get the hell out of here. Kramer? Whoa, look at Guido. Whoa. Oh, another Messiah with the Singapore. It looks like, it looks like Star Wars here. Both these guys. That's all. Oh, look at that shot right to the head from Webb onto the Messiah. Right up back. Across right across the head and the back with the cane. And I'm not talking about the sugar cane, bro. Right, I understand that, Larry. I think I do, but right now, look at this. White trash Johnny Webb to the top of the cage. And for all you fans that think this is a match where you can climb out and it's all over, that is not the case. The winner of this match has to pin the opponent. One, two, three, flat in the middle of the ring. Exactly right, Larry. There is no escape. For either Webb or the Messiah, the only way to win is pin the beaten man. Oh, look at the Messiah! Just thrown right into the cage by Webb. He does. And look at all the, look at all the, all these, all these props. Oh, look at all the arsenal in the ring as Webb delivers the baseball slide onto the Messiah. The white trash is really using the trash as in the trash can to deliver pain to Messiah. He's delivering it all right. White trash Johnny Webb. This is his home turf, it looks like here. This is his kind of match. This is right down his alley. But the Messiah's been with the best of them, Larry. You know, I was standing in the parking lot with some of these fans. I see some of the fans of white trash. They're sitting around there drinking beer, smoking huh? the cigarette. The police come and tell them they have to get out. They almost didn't get in the show. Are you serious? I'm, of course, I'm serious. Well, wait a minute, wait, let's get back to the match here. Oh, look at that low blow from the Messiah. Oh, trash can shot right to the head with the lid. Messiah, you, you seen Jesus walk around hitting people in the head with a trash can? Absolutely not. I don't know who this guy claiming to be the Messiah. Unbelievable, 2,000 years later, give me a break. 
Those kicks from Messiah laying in the pain. Oh, wait a minute now. Johnny Webb into the cage. Incredible. Messiah just threw him head first right into the steel cage. Messiah's got a garbage can. A steel garbage can. What does he have in mind now? Once again, the trash oh! can. Trash can being used efficiently in this match. And the winner, traditional history shows the winners of the cage matches are the wrestlers that use the cage as a weapon effectively. They're using this cage for sure as a weapon. And wait a minute, from pillar to post now. Oh, look at oh, Messiah! Rep just barely dug down on the way. Messiah chest first into those turnbuckles. Tremendous impact from Messiah on the chest. And look at this, white trash web with the cheat metal across whoa, 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 whoa. Messiah. Whoa, whoa. Would you watch your language, Larry? What are you, what are you talking about? What I said, man, the cheat metal across the, the head. Oh, did you see that, man? Okay, the sheet metal. Is okay, what meant. okay, whatever, man. What are you talking? Oh, look at that. Singapore came to the back now of the Messiah. Messiah looking like he's out. It's all over for this guy, it's looking like. And now Webb's got him set up. DDT into the trash can lid. That was, the impact there was incredible, brother. Unbelievable. I cannot believe it. And right now, Webb gaining more offense in this matchup. The Messiah just barely standing because Webb's helped him plant it right into the center of the ring. Webb now stomping away to the chest of the Messiah. And now, oh, fist right to the head. No, the, Look at this. Oh, wait, he's gouging him now. He's gouging his forehead and his eyes. The action is going back and forth. I am hard to, to guess who's going to come out on top of this match. At the present moment, we have Webb signaling to his fans in the crowd, of which there are a few. Your guess is as good as mine, Larry. Both these guys. And now, wait a minute, white trash. Oh, trash can right to the head of the Messiah. Look at him, just on his knees, teetering. And now Webb picking him up again. Here we go, wait a minute, scooping a slam, it looks like. Oh, plants him right in the center of the ring. Oye, está muy groggy ahora el, el Messiah. He's, Whoa, he's, what are you talking he's about? He's laying in the middle of the ring, he can't get up. He looks like he's all over now, man. He's, all, he's going to the top, he's going to the top of the turnbuckle. He's getting ready. He's oh. Whoa, the Messiah! Playing possum, just nailing Johnny Webb, continuing, blow after blow. And now, wait a minute, the Messiah hammering his head into the side of the cage, both sides. This is what I'm talking about, back and forth. And look at how Messiah is using the cage as a weapon. This is where the people take the advantage and win the match. What a hell of a weapon it is. As now the Messiah leading the offense in this matchup. It's hard to tell where this match is going to go. Messiah with the trash can. Oh, right to the back of Johnny Webb. Two trash cans in the ring being used. The Messiah now going back over to Webb. Shot right to the head. Two times. Wait, Messiah's going up now. Now they are both on top. This is very dangerous for both wrestlers. Oh, low blow. Oh, the Messiah got caught on the top rope. He's hanging on. He's hanging on. Look at this. Look at this, man. Wow. Jump kick. Drop kick, Webb! And the Messiah goes crashing into the cage and down. You know what, man? This match reminds me when I was a little kid in the park in Cuba, man, riding on the theater totter. One guy goes up, the other guy goes down. The other guy goes down, one guy goes up. Look at the action, man. Well, stop talking about teeter-totters and talk about this match. The Messiah, this one crashing into the cage again. Head first, what is this, Webb's posing. Pushing his own muscle up, give me a break. Look at that move, man, almost breaking the neck of the Messiah right there in the middle of the ring. Mike trash Johnny Webb now with the Messiah again. Across the ropes, Messiah back. Ball, back body drop. Sunset flip into the, into the cage. You see how his head almost got cut? That's how the cactus jack, man. That's how he saw it. He's here. His ear came off. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at the blood. Look at the blood all over the face. Light trash, Johnny Webb cut wide open. I can't tell from here if the Messiah is or not. But white trash, Johnny Webb with the offense again now. And Messiah whipped into the ropes. Oh, look at that, the Messiah launching. You know, Messiah has so much energy, so much energy in the ring. He's flying around. Sometimes it's hard for him to control his own direction. And now look at this. Oh, white trash. Oh, he's going for the fish hook. 
Look at this. He's going for the fish hook. Oye, me, Johnny Webb, lávate la mano, chico. Mira eso. He's putting his mouth, his hands in his mouth. He's working in the car. He's eating the food, the, the tummy burger. And I'm sure that besides the last thing he's got on his mind right now. But wait a minute, trash can shot to the head of Webb. And now the Messiah. He's going to the top. Tornado DDT. Look at that, man. Beautiful move. Beautiful move. Oh, wait. Messiah going for the pin now. Referee down for the gap. Two. Oh, Johnny Webb just barely got his shoulder up on a two count. And both these guys taking a tremendous amount of punishment. There's that cheap medal again, man. Only this time is Messiah putting it across the coco of white trash Johnny Webb. again. Webb got his shoulder up at a two count once again. White trash Johnny Webb. I don't know how he's kicking out of these. This looks like it might be the finishing move right here, brother. Look oh, The God smack. This has got to be it for Webb. I think this is definitely it. All he has to do is cover white trash Johnny Webb. And this match is history. And look at this now. The Messiah bowing to these people out here in approval on the Messiah, pointing to the top now. Now, I think Messiah wants to recreate the famous 1983 Madison Square Garden encounter between Jimmy Snuka and Don Morocco. Wait a minute, who's this girl here? Shaking the cage. Oh, you know, I mean, that's how she's doing. Right? This is a nice girl. Nice enough to distract the Messiah. The Messiah trying to shoo away. Who, wait a minute, where with the Singapore cane? Wait a minute, the Messiah put them on the cane. Look out, wait a minute, no. What's he doing looking at the girl, man? The cane to the back. No! Incredible, right through the table from 10 feet in the air. This guy is dead. He's dead, bro. Look at the Messiah laid out. Through that table from the top of the steel cage. Who is this girl, man? Who? You know who this girl is? I don't know who the hell she is. I thought you knew who she was, Larry. I want to know, man. I want to know. Look at this web strutting over to the to the side. What's he? He's going for the pin now. This is for sure got to be it. Ramirez, two, three. It's over. Web wins the match. Who is the girl? Man? That's what I want to know. I don't care what she has to do with this. I want to know who the girl is. And look what she caused here. Look at the Messiah, the carnage from the top of the cage onto a table, onto the concrete floor. Oye, mira la hell esa. That's, who is that? Who is this, man? And look at this. Webb Web apparently wants nothing to do with her. I want something to do with her. Larry, wait, wait, calm down. I want... The let, big story here is the Messiah. When are we going to find out? Who is that, man? What a match, what a match, bro.